Hey, hey. Hi, everyone. We're back. We are back. Did you miss us? Yes, they did. <laughs> you listen, Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Happy New Year Happy to Happy holidays. Everyone. Whatever you um, celebrate. I'm so glad that um, we're back this week. Last week, I, I definitely missed it. And uh, hey, Penny. This, um, uh, let me just get rid of this. Uh, Heather Butler, hello, everybody. Happy holidays, Merry Christmas. Uh oh, Debbie, New Year. you were number three. <laughs> Mira, Eva. 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 From Puerto Rico oh, we, is here. We, Gabriela is in the background getting ready. She's so, getting, her listen, makeup is getting ready. So we missed, I really did yeah. miss doing this last week. And we're back, and we have like a whole, we have like the whole island of Puerto Rico here. So That's right. The I whole can't be Happy New here. Year. So, Mira, Mariana. Come on, we come in here. We've got this cutie here. Yes. Mariana, say hi to everyone. Your mother's hi, there. <laughs> this is our niece, Mariana. She's having a great time. We've had her. We're not going to let her. She's going to be doing the show go. today. She's yes. going to be doing hi, readings. Shauna. Yeah, she's connected. Yeah. She is what? connected. Um, Debbie Burley just said that's bull. She's already starting. You know, oh, she's, oh my God. Number three, Debbie. I'm sorry. <laughs> so we're going to have um, uh, Mariana's mom, uh, grandmother, and Elix's mom, mom are here too. So we got to get them. Mariana, get them here. Yeah. Call them here so they can say We, we can hi. always bring the phone to them. But I'm so excited to be back, and I hope everybody had the greatest holiday. So And they go by so fast, don't they? Hey, Jillian, Happy I'll, New I'll, Year, I'll too. Bring phone, I'll bring the phone because they're... they're all right, yeah, all right so Hold just on. bear with us. We Carolyn. Gonna, we get, we're going to give you a tour of my family. Uh-huh, this is my mother. Consuelo, say hello to everyone. <laughs> you can speak. Dile, habla en español. Habla en español. Habla en español. Sí. Ah, pues bien. Bien qué. She's she's shy. Que me alegro, me alegro mucho que hablen español porque. Okay. Dile, hola, hola Puerto Rico. Hola, Puerto Rico. To, to all her fans. Uh -huh. I, I, to, to all, say hi to all your fans. My mother, <laughs> she's <laughs> 93. And this, I'm going to tell her, this is my aunt, oh. Titi Eva. Look at how the royal. So, the socialite. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> she, she doesn't talk. She's very shy. She doesn't talk. She's on the phone all day long, but she doesn't talk. Yeah. No, she, <laughs> and she's very fluent, Spanish and English. Yes, she speaks fluent English. Mira, Tonito. Tonito's here. Tonito's Dile hola, Tonito. Tonito is watching. Tonito yeah. Yeah. Sí. yeah, the whole Puerto Rican clan is, is joining us. All right, so we're going to go back. This, my mother is 93 years old, and this is her first Facebook Live, so she's all excited. Oh, TTF, uh, Tonito says hi. Okay, hi. so we're going to go back to the two of us. So here we are, okay? So we are getting back to us here. Okay. So what's today's show? So my mother, by the way, 93 years old, and she's, you know, travels and, you know, living independently. So we're very, very lucky to have her here. It's so. the Coach Elix Show. Oh, God. All right. <sighs> so, no, we, we're so, it's so cool to have his family here and they leave Monday and Mariana who is here her mom Ava is listening Sue Wright is here um, and so Mariana's mom comes back Saturday and then they all leave Monday because they have to stay here That's for right. Three Kings which is Sunday because which is a huge holiday in the Latin culture if anyone knows that so yeah. we don't tell, take the lights down nothing no. our pickle still in the tree yes just saying yeah and, until after that's what steven said after three kings um i'm funny uh by the way again Sue, you know i have to repeat this i'm looking for a new host so yeah. <laughs> he's gonna be gone very soon sue just want you to know my mother was Year, just asking for you Hi, so Paul. yes she misses you Yes. A lot. Yeah, we went to, to we went to S and S. Yes, last. Um, oh my God. Yeah, no good. Uh, yeah, no, it wasn't. It wasn't any good because you weren't here, Sue. So happy New Year to everybody. My mother was very disappointed you weren't there. So, so, so like, what did everyone do for like the holidays? Like, are people like glad they're over? Like, they're they want them back? We get depressed. Both of us get depressed, right? That's right. Like when it's. When uh, it's I'm, over, because I'm already feeling the blues. Yeah, because we're so huge, like we're so Christmas pr people and holiday people. So, um, mm. but the good thing is that we keep everything up until you know at least Three January sixth, sure. which is yeah, which is a nice thing. So. Everything's staying up. 
Yeah, and also because I just don't want to spend that energy taking all that stuff down. Because if anyone saw the video, there's a lot of stuff up. So um, it's it's right. There is a lot. So um, so Carolyn wants it back. Yeah, me too, Carolyn. What does she goes, want, What does she want back? Oh dear God! What holidays? But the they're holidays. not gone yet. We're they're still well, we're but, still but, celebrating. But for, for most people here. You know, like January 1st, my best friend took down the tree. Paul took down the tree January 1st. Oh, my God. That's what most people do. But even in our street, in the cul-de-sac, everyone has their lights off. No, no. We're the only ones, right? Uh, unacceptable. Yeah. Unacceptable. So, not the true spirit of Christmas. No, no. no. Not, well, they still have the true spirit of Christmas, but um, but the great thing is Elix's aunt went to um, Mass here, because she's here, and she, she found a Catholic church, and the priest actually asked the people in the congregation to keep, I've never heard this, to keep the lights on. Until January 10th. Yeah. What, what was the reason? Because Celebrating the birth of Christ. I don't know. Something like that. I don't, Not, it could have been January 14th. It could have been. No, no. It was January June 10th. June 8th. Who the hell knows? Yeah. But it's just, it was it was wild that this priest asked <clears> to keep <throat> keep the lights on. So, um, But I'm very excited to be back doing through the static and and everybody too i have a, um, a new youtube uh channel steven the medium and all my stuff all the um eva uh, january 13th thank, you, thank eva. you eva what was the reason eva um am i in the middle of a conversation here well that's what you do every time i'm talking hi so jenny well hi and Joe. people are saying hi right um your video was delightful thank, thank, you, thank you paula, paula. um now i have no idea what i was just saying what was I just talking about? That's a conversation any day in the life of Elix. I have Steven. no idea what I was That's just saying. That's what he does. It was something about the show and I'm back and I, I don't yeah. know what the hell I We're just said. We're happy to so. have you back. Yeah. It's called I, Little Christmas. Yeah. Yeah, well, Little Christmas is three kings. Yes. 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 Get, That's huge in the Latin. You know, like in Latin culture, you also, it's just like Christmas. Like kids get presents, um, presents on yes, three kings. Of course. And they put straw and water under the bed just as like opposed to milk cookies and cookies for, for the seven. camels. Yes. How cool is that? Something that, uh, I'm just listening. I think we got to get moving over. So, hi, Victoria. Um, thank you. And I'm so glad you guys, are, are everyone's <laughs> watching. So, I'm really excited. So, we're going to have family, Elix's family, in yeah, the coming, studio. Yeah, they're coming in. And until the first commercial. And then <clears> I'm going to, everyone's going to go to the lobby. And then I'm going to start taking calls so I can do what I love doing, which is readings. So, which is great, right? And I'm yes. so excited to do this. And I know there's people um, you know, that want to call in to get connected. Again, I've said this many times, this time of year is sometimes really tough when you lose someone because you just miss them so much and the emotions are so high with the holidays. So um, it's so nice to, to get through and just get that little um, validation that you know that your loved ones are here. You know what the, the coolest thing when I do these validations or do readings is that Spirit will always bring up incidents or conversations that just happen. Like, I get so many times I'll say something and someone will say to me, Stephen, I had that conversation like two days ago. And it's a way then for me to say, that's because your loved one, mom, dad, whoever it is, wants to say they're standing right next to you. Their energy is right next to you. They, they haven't missed out on anything and they're here. So um, I love when, when Spirit does that. And, and just relaying that message to people is, I think, the the best thing ever so and remember for anyone who's local which i'm gonna i'm gonna i don't have it in front of me um january 18th you've got to come to the fundraiser um it's uh is it ven ven venmo I can't, venmo I, yeah venmo. to pay and you can, it's it you just can pay. you just go into venmo colleen briley I'll, I'll i'll do it in the show uh and it's 25 dollars 100 percent goes to uh, the school, but twenty five dollars to to get like in this this venue of getting um, a reading, which would be really wonderful. And I also, hi Lisa, um, I also have um, just a, an announcement about February two, the show that I'm doing. It's my what, dad's what birthday show? today with Sandra Champlain. Oh yeah, yeah. He passed away very young, sixty five. Happy New Year's. Glad they're over. Yeah, Lisa, I get it. Um, you know, it's it is. It's 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 very difficult. It's very tough, but. I'm telling you, getting that one sign or just knowing that your loved ones are here just helps you get through uh, the holidays or, or any time, really. The holidays heighten the emotions, but um, we got to get over it because we got to go get uh, Elix's family on the chairs, in the um, headphones so that they can hear. And um, so, so bear with us. Meet We're going to move there. and we are coming over to the studio. Okay, Vita. Okay. Just bear with us. Come on. 
All right, guys. Come on, everyone. No. El abrigo, sí. Okay. So here we are. Uh, surprisingly, Mark, Mark is, is not back. playing Christmas music. <laughs> I don't understand why, because the holidays are not over. But Scrooge over here is just wow, can. I just Scrooge. can with him. All right, here we are. Just bear with us. A whole, a whole two hours. Yeah. Okay, so so we're, we're um. Um. Do you want the mic? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Coach Elix sitting next to me. He's Hello. back. Hello, everyone. Happy New Year. And Happy New Year. Merry Christmas. Happy Holidays. Whatever you celebrate. Um, we're so excited to have Mock with us, or I should say us back with Mock, because Mock didn't miss last week. Yeah, he was Mark's here with the jukebox. Here. Make sure you check out his show, 3 to 5. He has the themes you've been doing, Mock, over the past couple of weeks are so great. I love them. And we also have a um, special guest here for a little, Very special for guest. For just a, um, until the, the first break, we have Elix's mom, Consuelo, who's sitting here. We're going to make sure we take a picture, too. Um, Say hello. Hello. Hey! <laughs> they weren't going to speak. They're just saying hello. <laughs> just hello. Um, and we also have uh, Elix's aunt, Ava. She may or may not say hello. Well. Hello and blessings. Hello and blessings is beautiful. And we also have uh, the beautiful Mariana slash Gabriella slash Petunia here. Um, <laughs> hello, Mariana. Hi, happy holidays. Oh, that's great. And you know, the great thing is Mariana's uh, mom, Ava, was here and she's coming back Saturday, but you know she watched Facebook Live, she's listening. So oh, she, she's yeah, watching. She, yeah, she's, she's probably saying, well, Damn listen, it, how did I miss that? I, exactly. Well the whole Puerto Rican crew better be listening. They've got we, they've got half the family here, right? That's so, right. But we had the we really did. We have we have been having the best time. They came, all of them, including Mariana's mom or or um, Auntie Ava's daughter um, all came right before Christmas, so they were here for Christmas with us, and we had a great time doing things, and they were here for New Year's, and we've been just going around, um, uh, went to La Salette, um, have been to various restaurants. We went to uh, Tower Hill Botanical Gardens, which I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to screw it up. Is it Boylston, I think? Mm -hmm. Off, it's off of 290, so, yeah. but it is beautiful. I mean, if you've never been, you should go. It is absolutely beautiful. The lights are very, very different. And La Salette Trine is beautiful, and that's here locally in Attleboro, which I love. And we that go, was absolutely beautiful yeah, as I mean, well. You know what? Traditionally, since I was a little boy, my family has gone every single year to La Salette, and I still keep that up. So Thanksgiving night, we go um, to La Salette. But Tower Hill is a little bit different, the way they have the, the, the lights set up, and they're different color lights, too, like with these purples and blues and oranges. And I think everybody loved... Um, but, but the Tower Hill, you have to pay. Yeah. So it's not free. So it's really, it's very upscale. Um, yeah, I mean, in comparison you, to, you know, a free event. Yeah, it, it, exactly. Last lot's beautiful because a family, you know, whether it's a small family, big family can go because it's free and it's still beautiful. Mm -hmm. Even though I don't understand what's going on with the nativity scene, that that little that that building, it's never open. And those little nativ nativity houses are beautiful. I don't understand it, but I was I mean, maybe, I was going and maybe knows. Mark, 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 you're from Attleboro, right? So maybe Mark knows. You remember the old gift shop? At, at yeah. La Salette. Yeah. So, you know, I have actually pictures of the old, when I went with a friend and I took pictures there, which was really wild. But the old one, I mean, now it's huge. The, the new one is big and beautiful. But I think the, the old one was where the, the, now the little houses are, right? Or part of it. So, um, but we've been having a great time. The family, Elix's family is staying till Monday, which the is seventh. the seventh. Yeah. Because they We're were celebrating three kings, three kings on Sunday, which is very, very big in the, uh, Latin culture. So it's something, to be honest, something until, you know, what, uh, 26 years ago, I never knew. I, I mean, of course, growing up and going to Catholic schools, I knew about what we call Little Christmas and Three Kings. But here, as far as just my experience, it's not celebrated. It's just, you know, it's Three Kings. And, and to be honest, January 6th would come and go. And I would never even think about it. I wouldn't even know until um, I met you and went to Puerto Rico and saw that this was like like a second but, Christmas. But also for my family, that was a big deal because my grandmother had made a promise to the uh, Three Kings. So we also had a promise, a Three Kings promise uh, party every year in, in the in the house, in the, in, the, right. in the mountains, in the farm in Puerto Rico. Yeah. So. And, you know, I, I, one of the things I'm very, very, for anybody from Elix's family listening and family here, I'm just very fortunate that I've been around long enough to go to the Campo for New Year's Day, you met my grand my my grandmother. Yeah, I met yeah. both both my grandmothers. Both grandmothers, actually. I yeah. met yeah. yeah. And the when that that 
experience was just like so many people and just dancing and music and food, right? I mean, at the, the compo and, and the, the, the most beautiful uh, experience of watching um, the guys come and, and sing to Mama Tata, which is Elix's grandmother, yeah. for, for The Promise, was something that, you know, I would never get to see. And, and, and my family was very quiet, right? Like, yeah, 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 just very quiet. It was like like a concert, and, and without like being in a concert, yeah. you know, you walk in and you just hear, you know, you hear Yvette, and, and just wanted to start dancing. Tonito, and, that's your mother. Yeah. Tonito's on Facebook Live, so we're talking about Tonito's mother, who's very lively. But it's the, really the best family, and just so much, so much fun. And I know things have changed since since your grandmother has passed away, but. Um, I'm just really glad and fortunate that we have pitches then. And I mean, this house in the, the mountains was beautiful. I mean, or it is beautiful, right? I mean, it, it's, still it's just with orange yeah. trees and grapefruit trees and coffee um, um, uh, bean trees, I guess, right? It's, uh, it's just it's go, like 300 acres of land. Yeah, so, so big, it's, big land. It's, it's, it's amazing. And to like go there early in the morning and seeing your family with sweatshirts on, which to me, was crazy because it was it's probably cold. like 70 and then at the you know mid afternoon everyone's clothes are off i mean not completely off but just shedding sweatshirts and stuff so um so it was it's been really great so i get to to share that and it's so great that these guys are here right in so, Massachusetts. So we're doing a mini Three Kings celebration with Titi Eva, representing all the aunts, all the titis. That's right. That's right. Because I, I was also, I grew up, as you know, I was, I grew up very close to all my aunts. My father had a lot of uh, aunts. Yes. Eleven. 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 And then Eleven. My mom. So he was a whole and bunch. And mom's side was seven, siete, or ocho um, siblings. And manas. Eight. 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 Wow. So each side of your family was eleven was, plus eight. That's yeah. a big family yeah. when you add. Husbands, wives, kids, grandkids. So you could have done a show before Kate Plus Eight, right? <laughs> I mean, seriously. Um, remember her wacko haircut too? Yeah. Like, does she still have that? I hope not. Some people do. With the I've porcupine some, in the front and the. I've seen some the, people that. Oh, carry, it's the porcupine carry in the back. The legacy. Right. Yeah. The, <laughs> that's, hopefully, we're not offending anyone. <laughs> if you have that that hairstyle, um, it's it's nice, but you need the to get rid of call. it. Yeah, you, you. They want it back. <laughs> Or the 90s, I don't know. I'm not even aware. But overall, I hope everyone has had the best holiday and um, celebrations. And I was just saying on Facebook Live, it, this is, it's a difficult time. And I've said this before because of losing people. But I got to tell you, though, I had an, a, an amazing meditation January 1st. And each person here, Elixis' mom, aunt, um, Mariana, everyone had somebody in my meditation come through. And then I gave the validations, which everybody validated, which was pretty amazing. I, I think it was pretty cool that um, Spirit took that that opportunity to actually come through me to give validations here um, to people that are in my house and close and family. So um, and to Ava who left, I know she didn't want to leave. Mommy, Mariana's mommy, she didn't want to leave because she had to work, but she's coming back Saturday. So we're missing you, Ava. We wish you were here, but um, when you get back, we'll have to do another celebration. So. Um, even though you'll miss the, the radio show, but you're here on Facebook Live. So, but I really missed it last week. It was it was a nice break because we had family. But I'm so happy to be back. I know that we're going to um, take a break in uh, very shortly. And when we come back is when I'm going to start taking calls and start connecting. But before we go, just quickly, let me just remind you, people that are local in New England, January 18th. Please, please, please go to. Um, Venmo and Colleen Briley. It's Venmo at Colleen Briley, and you can buy tickets twenty five dollars. That's all it is. And what? Where is where is the event? It's going to be at the Elks Hall in Norwood, one fifty two Winslow Avenue at six thirty. And the hundred percent of the funds go to the Cleveland Elementary School for the kids. Which is, I mean, how could you not want to just give twenty five dollars to? To these kids, right? To any any kids. So so Close go to, to my heart. go to Venmo to pay because when you say go to Venmo, people are gonna be like, "Where's Venmo? Where's where's that place located to pay?" Right to pay. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And okay. you Venmo at Colleen Briley. It's B 
R-I-E-R-L-E-Y. I'm going to put something on um, uh, Facebook as well as my website so you can um, see that also. But $25 to get a reading, how wild is that to be in this kind of, this venue? So, and um, and I know I brought this up because two weeks ago we had the wonderful Sandra Champlain. That was such Hello, a cool, Sandra. such a cool listening. interview. And um, uh, the weekend of February 22nd to the 24th, we have... We Don't Die event. It's at We Don't Die Boston for tickets. You've got to go to this too. And the the number of um, speakers and mediums that she has put together is pretty incredible. So if you're looking to do something, you don't have to be local. You just um, come, uh, take a plane, take a train, take a car, just get here. But just We Don't Die Boston go to and you'll be able to, to get information and tickets. So I am going to move the lovely family to the lobby. I'm going to start doing calls. We're going to take a break. 508-222-1320. And we'll be right back. Yay, everyone. We did good. You taught. Okay. Te van a ser famosas. Uh huh. By hold you. So you're staying. So we're gonna just we're gonna move you, Mariana. Okay. Swing here because that um I don't know what is going on with that. But I can't have you the whole time. On January 10th yeah. at 4:30 p.m. at the Apple Library. Gabriela Vieira. Gabriela. Present a workshop on preventing elder financial abuse. The incidents of financial yeah, we can keep this open. Of okay. elders and oh, sure. vulnerable adults My mom will be growing nationally. Fraudulent telemarketing schemes. Of course she will. She doesn't want to miss. Resulting in significant financial losses. Okay, we're back. We sent two out to the lobby, and we have. Exploitation and fraud. Mariana's still right. here, <laughs> and she's going to be here through the show and listening, so which is really cool. So, are you are you liking the show? Yes. Good, yay! This is your first time, right, on a radio show, so which is cool. And um, abuelas and mommy, so no, did I say that wrong? Yeah, no, abuela, mommy's not here. abuela and consuelo. So, yeah, that's good. Yeah, just in case you want to chime in. <laughs> but for the most part, hopefully. Um, There'll be people calling in and I'll do reading. So, yeah. but if we have a, a time that there's no calls, then we can just sort of chat so and figure out what we want to talk about. And maybe we want to talk about Jeremy. So, I don't know. We may want to talk about an old boyfriend, Mark. <laughs> you never know. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Exactly. Whatever, whatever floats out there, right? We're a free form show here. <laughs> we go with the, go with the flow here. Exactly, exactly. So I'm glad you guys are still on. So Laurie Riley, hello. Hello. Croxies, hello. So about a minute before the show starts up. Remember, guys, if you want to hear the calls, you can hear me always on Facebook Live. But if you want to hear the calls, you've got to tune into WARA radio to listen to that so if you need to leave facebook live to listen i hope you have two mechanisms to like listen to both but if you have to the only way you can hear the calls coming in is to go to wara maybe sometime that will be fixed i mean i know that um there's a radio station that i listen to on sirius that it seems like but maybe it's because they have it on speaker i don't know but but that's what it's going to be right because facebook live you can actually hear the people calling in so all right so we'll have to think about that so, 15 seconds coming in. You can watch the program at all by following the programs from now, the library. Huh? High definition on the AACS Roku channel. And welcome back to Through the Static. This is Stephen the Medium having some issues with my mic or my headphone. He looks, talk, talk amongst yourselves. <laughs> well, hello, everyone. Um, is this I'm, right? Yeah, you're, you're fine. You're doing okay. Okay, no, I got, I got it now. I, I didn't hear, I couldn't hear from the left speaker. So, um, so I am so excited to be back. We're back. And the beginning, can you believe it's 2019? I can. 
I'm excited. Happy, happy New Year. New so, Year, New Year. Is there you. anybody waiting? Okay, so let's, you know, let's, let's go. Let's do calls. Hello, this is Steven. Hello, this is Steven. Hi, who's this? Oh my goodness, hi, Steven. Trisha. Trisha. Uh, I, Trisha, what did you say? You're Trisha of... It's Trisha, but I'm also known as Gretchen Sweeney on the Facebook. Oh, so Trisha, I'm so glad that we get to talk. How are you? Thank you. I am so glad to... I've known you Oh, no. So, so should, should I... I should reference you as Trisha, right? Yes. Okay, so Trisha, um, don't be nervous. Just sit back and let's just see what happens here. Um, uh, so... Trisha, let me just start. I, I love when I start with animals, which um, I love people, but I love when I start with animals. So there's a dog here. Um, so did you grow up with dogs? I'm sorry, Kate. Did you grow up with dogs? There's a dog in... No, sir, I did not. Well, Gretchen, let me tell you that there's a dog here, so it's going to be some somehow connected to you, maybe a sibling, a friend, but it's it's a large dog, in, like almost like a shepherd, but in spirit. So does, does someone, someone you know have like a, a have or had a big dog that someone's very close to you or maybe like, my, I'm go ahead. Sorry. No, go ahead. My, my sister had um, a Rothwilder. Okay, perfect. So, but this Rothwilder is in spirit. Uh, is the, the Rothwilder cross dead? Yes. Okay. So, so. So Trisha, just know that that the the um, it looked like a, a sh I knew it was a big size. It looked like a shepherd to me. But rem your sister, just um, keep the B name. When when animals come through, they give me letters. So the letters are either their names or nickname or um, or somebody sometimes even um, connected to the house. I know it sounds a little weird, but like if if there was a, a person in the house named. Uh, with a B name, but the dog keeps giving me, if this is your sister's dog, keeps giving me the B, B name, like Bob, Bill, uh, uh, maybe it's, go ahead. Um, Bob. 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 Bob.
Dan died. There's a, your father is telling me there's a D name, um, uh, and it, it, it could be either living or it could be crossed, uh, Tricia. Just... Perfect. Perfect. So, um, is mom here? Oh, yeah. She's here with me. Um, I ask that because when I ask in spirit and I hear nothing, it just means that they're still living. So, yeah, I mean, they, they, I always ask for names and I can't explain it, Trisha, how or why sometimes spirit gives first names, middle names, maiden names. It's just your dad giving a reference. They were still married? Um, no, they, they, they were divorced. Um, but what was it? Your father makes me feel like he was still there with her. Um, what was it? Was it like, I don't know. Was it? Was it like a very friendly? Like were they? Oh, it was amicable. Okay. They still visited each other. Okay, so that's what your father's. Well, he made me feel like he was still with her. So it's also just a way um, to let you know that he's still watching her. Trisha, where did the snow globes come in? Oh my goodness, the snow globes. I'm trying to remember. <laughs> Your, your your father just showed me um, a snow globe and just keeps turning it and you know I know it's a snow globe so a lot of times when they'll when they'll bring me something like that it's just a, something was passed down something was purchased from some for somebody but there's a your father's v v just looking at you like I can't believe you don't know the snow globe so Trisha I'm just, so I love how you say it right to, I love that you even said it to him you didn't even say it to me you're like daddy I'm sorry I'm sorry I can't get it. Just know that there's something with with the uh, snow globe. Is it is it just two girls, two kids? What well, your father says two. Yeah, yeah, they're my babies, my two girls. Oh, perfect. So know that your dad's just making sure that he's giving a validation to his granddaughters. Also, um, so where does the snow thing? Did your daughters, I don't know, have something for Christmas that was like a snow globe? What did your father is? <laughs> Listen, if 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 you you know I, I I always tell people that they bring up the most random things, and if you actually you I've never seen a snow globe ornament. So an, an ornament that you actually you tip it over and like it's like a snow globe. Well, it doesn't tip over, but I mean we have an ornament that looks like a snow globe, but you don't tip it over. So he's saying it's an actual snow globe. No, 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 Trisha. It's just. Listen, it's just a way that when, think back when you were putting the tree up and you were hanging that ornament, it's just a way that dad's saying he was right there. He's standing there. He knows about it. Stephen, I have to interrupt you. My daughter just told me we do have a snow globe. We do? <laughs> it's on the mantle. <laughs> just, have you been drinking? Trisha, yeah. Tr Trisha, you need help here. <laughs> I love it. I I just said that you need help. That's the last thing I said, Trisha. No, I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. Off I'm, I'm, the spice <laughs> the holidays are over. <laughs> Trisha, just kidding. You know, I love everything that happens and everything that I say and how this how this happened with we, we could hear your daughter in the background. This is all a way that your father is eliciting this. He wants he wants to make sure that oh I I can hear my granddaughter's voice on the on the radio. That's what this is all about. They he just wants your two girls to know that grandpa is still here, hasn't gone anywhere and he's with them. So so papa's here and just just know that it's just a way to, to let you know that in in They'll, what they'll do, in this case, your father's bringing something up. I mean, I know snow globes, you know, people have them. But it's just it's just a way to say, I know it's in the house. And it's just also a way to say, I'm here with you. Like, I'm, 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 I'm with you. There's also horses, Tricia. What's the horses? You, you put your daughter on. Put your daughter on. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Tricia. <Daddy>. <laughs> 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 Trisha, I love you. So let me just tell you something, Trisha, with horses. One, one, of, one of two things. When, when spirit gives me horses, it's either something connected to like a physical horse, like, like someone loves horses or horseback riding or has a horse or, or I don't know why this is, or someone loved gambling, loves scratch tickets or something. You know, it's either one or the other. 
<laughs> so who was that? It, is it you? Who, who's, who loves the scratch tickets or gambling? Oh, so, and Jim, George, John, where's the GJ name? G, G or J name. I, I don't see letters. Sounding. So I always hear the sound of a letter and I hear, it sounds like George. G George, Georgia, George. Why, why do I keep getting George? Okay, there's a George in my family. Even my uncle, his name is George. Okay, he's still here? Okay, so so just it's just a little validation for Uncle George. That's what this is all about and how it works. So, but I'll tell you, Tricia, you're 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 because uh, I gotta I gotta go to a break. But your father keeps telling me where's the writing come in? The writing, the writing yeah. That's me. I journal. Oh, so know that it's a way that he's just he said before you hang up with her, you've got to tell my daughter about the writing because she'll understand. So just know it's a way that. Um, it's very therapeutic, Trisha, and when you're journaling, when you're journaling, just know that your dad is sitting right next to you. Oh, thank you so much. And how much he loves you and protects the family, and um, I'm going to leave you with a lot of love, Trisha. Thank you, sir. All right, listen, Happy New Year. Happy New Year. And we'll, Happy New we'll, Year. We'll be back. Okay. Hi, Elise. I love Trisha. Let's take a look to see who's here. Elise. Trisha, Trisha was pretty good. You can always Hi, tell Lorraine, a, a freebie. Not freebie. A, a, f a newbie. Hi, a newbie. A newbie. A newbie. See, I need you here. You can't go back to Hi, Lori. A newbie. You can always tell a newbie because they're like... Donna, I don't out. know if you're still watching. I hope you are. Um, we, we're we're with you, praying for your mom. Okay? Yeah, of course, absolutely. A lot of love and to you. If you need anything, let us know. Um, so Gretchen is Trisha, right? Yes, I think so. Hi, Linda, Griffin, and Deb Maroney. Hello. And Melissa Matthews and Elise. Elise. I hope she's still watching. She better be. Jermaine. Man, how are you, Jermaine? It's been so long. And Gina and Lorraine. Hello, everybody. So if anybody wants a reading, call 508 222 1320. Do we have openings? No, we're not. Okay, so. I was laughing because I had this picture of Miss Jean in her upper room with a mirror. I see Bill and I see Jean. I was laughing because I had this picture of Miss Jean in her upper room with a mirror. That's like it. I love that. Hi, Gina. Flash through my brain for And she never said Stephen. I used to watch it every day, and we're talking about Romper Room when I was a kid. I'm like, this woman always had that damn thing, right? She would, like, I see, yeah, and she'd be like, I see Aloysius, I see, I'm like, what the hell happened to Steven? It was, there was never any Steven. I don't get it. I don't get it. I think the closest I got was Stefan, but I took that because I was named after my grandfather, yeah, Stefan, Stephen. so, right? You know, I, I don't think I ever got Frederick either, my middle name. And forget Elix. There's no yeah. way in hell Miss Jean was saying Elix. <laughs> that wasn't yeah. happening. Maybe Felix, Felix right? Maybe. I don't know. So see how much fun we have here on the show? Facebook Live, listening. That was that was funny though, Trisha though. What was the last thing you said? Yeah, you need help. She took you serious. Yeah. Looking for more uh, thirty seconds. Thirty seconds and back on. Oh my God! I just realized I was in Worcester Court today. I was supposed to give a shout out to somebody. What? Still early. How could I forget? If I let them go, they just a resume. Yeah. So I got to pull the rain in now. Classes held during the day, evening, or on Saturdays. Yeah. View our website, literacycenter.com. Or call 508-226-3603. The Literacy Center, building a better community. And welcome back to Through the Static. Trisha was hilarious. That woman was so funny. I, I love doing that reading. And Mariana, you having a good time? Yes. Good. I'm so glad that she's here. And quickly before I take the next reading, I'm in Worcester Probate Court 
um, if people that don't know, I'm an, an attorney, and I was. Um, I was Who a, wouldn't know that you're an attorney? I, people, you're Stephen the medium attorney. Well, <laughs> someone could be new, and I have to give a big shout out to Sonia. Sonia was taking a fit that I gave shout outs to somebody else, and and I told her right at the beginning of the show I would. So if Sonia maybe hung up and stopped listening and said he's not giving me a shout out, so Sonia, I'm going to test. Her and of course Jeannie, the sisters who I love, Jeannie and Teresa. I saw Jeannie today at the counter, so and it's always nice to see them. And um, I love Worcester. I always love Worcester. So, all right, next call. Hello, this is Stephen. Hello, this is Stephen. Hello. Hi, who's this? Victoria. Victoria, how are you? Oh, Victoria, don't be nervous. Did you see what happened with Trisha? The call before, nervous, not good. No, I love Trisha. That was a, that was a great reading. It was a great, it was a great reading. Let's just make Victoria. You're you're sober, right? You're not drinking. <laughs> all right. I don't know. Maybe that's the problem. Maybe we should all be drinking. This would go much better. So, um, yes, spirit doesn't spirit doesn't like when I when I um, uh, drink and try to do readings. It doesn't work that way. So, okay. So let me get back to you, Victoria. Um, uh, so where am I starting with you, Victoria? Victoria, um, I'm seeing something that I'm going to start with before I tell you who's stepping forward. And so it's one of two things. So let me ask you first, are you from a, a big family? When I when I when I say big family, I see I I see numbers right now. I see when I see numbers, it's either usually one of two things. It's either someone's from a big family, or they're trying to give a reference to somebody who works in like finance or accounting or something to do with numbers or cash. Um, it's either one or the other. My dad was a real estate agent. Okay, and your dad is crossed. Yes. Okay, so just know. Um, you know, that's interesting. I've never had that for real estate, but I guess, you know, you're dealing with numbers all the time. Well, yeah, of course you are, because when a real estate agent, you're going back and forth, right, with the offers and, yeah, so it's always numbers. So um, your dad's uh, your dad's cool. He gave me something that um, I didn't realize where I was going with. Just know that dad is letting you know that he's here and stepping forward. Um, but, Victoria, there's also, a, there's, there's a mom figure here stepping forward in spirit. Is your mom, is your mom living? So, so it's either a, like a, a mother-in-law or a grandma. So it's either one or the other that is stepping forward. And um, uh, where does the KC name come in? Like Karen or Christian or Kim? Why do I keep getting C or K name for you? Either, either, either living or crossed. And it could be last name. It could be middle name sometimes. Um, but no, it's, it, it, it's, it's kind of pulling me to a K name. Like, you know, sometimes someone's like a Karen spells her name with a K or a last name K, but just keep it with you, Victoria, if it doesn't come. Your, 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 um, your dad's saying it's not coming from him, though. So, Victoria, this is coming from like a, a, like a friend. There's a friend connection. There's, there's a mom stepping forward um, that a friend of yours lost the mom and there's a, a C or K connection. So like, a, like, I don't know if that was her name or a friend's name. She's just taking this opportunity to, to jump in and just wants to give a validation. So when you think about the C or K name, um, uh, um, so dad's back. Okay. And is it, is it, was it a mother-in-law that died or is it a cross or is it, is it grandma? Oh, so you have a mother-in-law also? Okay. Okay. Um, yeah, and they, they don't, they don't, you know, it's funny. They don't give me the exes. They, they just come through as a mother figure. That's why I asked if there was also, it felt like it was both a grandmother and mother-in-law. So just letting you know that they're stepping forward. Where's the cancer come in? So, so, some, someone just... Someone just told me that they, they either crossed from cancer, there was cancer. I keep hearing cancer. It, it also could be your friend's mom who's talking about that too. So um, I really, I can't, I can't tell Victoria, but just if it doesn't jump out at you with your family, then maybe it is, is the, the, they're telling me you know this, you don't have a Karen connection? K 
Karen is really strong. The, the name Karen is really strong right now. So just, Victoria, just keep it with you. Um, so let me just get back to um, Dad. So uh, um, your father keeps showing me water. Water. Just, just, just water. Um, but it makes me also feel like it's in the house. It's, it's someone stepping in... Like some, like a basement or in in there's no essence of time, Victoria. And when I do these readings, so it could be um, something that happened years, many years ago, or something that just happened currently. There was not somebody connected to you that had an issue with water, like pipes pipes burst, or there was a leak, or there's, there's someone's having issues with with this with a lot of rain that's going in their basement. Your your father wants to to validate it. Dad says you do. So I'm just the messenger here, Victoria. So dad's telling me you do. Um, and I don't know, again, I don't know if this is family, if this is friends. And it could be a, a while back. I'm not really sure. There's also an A street, an A name street, like Ames Street, Anderson Street. Your father keeps giving me the A, A street. So there's an A, A um, street. That's interesting. He actually had a, a street named after him? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, Lane. Wow. Lane. Well, putting that, I think that's pretty cool anyway, why he's talking about a street. But there's also an A street. I don't know, is this street near the A street, off the A street? All I know is that um, it's not surprising your father wants to get to, uh, I mean, because that's huge, a street named after him. But there's an A, there's an A, A, I, I, uh, um, unless he's saying A Street, maybe that's what he's saying. Maybe it's not the letter A, but it's a street that he wants to give. I don't know. But all I know is that it's a, it, that's a cool thing that he wants to give as a, um, a validation. Victoria, there's also Jim, James, ja, where's the Ja come in for you? Um, I have a, a son, Jason. Perfect. That that would be why all the GJ names are coming. It's a way that dad is giving um, a reference to... Um, Jason, you have two kids? I have, I have three, but yes, one of them's Jason. <laughs> You're sure you weren't drinking, right, Victoria? <laughs> I, well, so, I have three kids. Okay. Uh, one of them's Jason. Oh, no, I got, I got that, but I got that, but are, are they two boys, two girls? Is it, why did your father separate them with two? Oh, okay, so that's what it is. Just he just told me to, two kids, two kids. So if it's two grand grandsons, is that it? The grandkids? Okay, just just know it's 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 Victoria. This is all about your dad. Just letting you know that he is watching and knows what's going on. He is screaming in my in my ear about the water issue and saying, "How is she not bringing this? How is she not getting the water issue?" It, it, I I'm Victoria. Your father has. What was that? No, it, this, this is, I'm standing, I was just about to say, Victoria, I'm standing like on a floor and there's water on my feet. And that's my symbol for there was something, some, there's water where water shouldn't be. So there's something your dad's giving that as a, an, a, a validation. And there's also something with the eye. Who's got the eye problem? Just, just know that, that it's just a way that dad's just letting you know, if you didn't know, it's actually him. So, and Victoria, I'm going to, your dad also shows me um, headphones, headsets. So is there somebody connected with you that, I don't know, that, that is a musician or radio or your father keeps picking up the headsets and putting them on his head? Does someone do something like with music that's connected to you? And it could be... Any family member, it could be friends, but your dad says um, there's something with the media, with headsets. Uh, we listen to a lot of YouTube and stuff with headsets on, but uh, I don't have any musicians. My dad just plays uh, guitar, electric guitar. So... So may, maybe that's what your dad's bringing as a, as a, a validation that he did play. Um, 
And you listen to YouTube with headsets on? Yeah. Oh, that's interesting. I never thought about doing that. But maybe maybe it's just the way your dad... And your dad just said flowers, so there's a birthday anniversary right around. You've got something right around connected to you. Yes. When you say coming up in January? February. No. Uh, your father just yelled at me and said to ask her because uh, he knew what you were saying was not what he was giving as a validation. There's something two weeks. When is his birthday? Well, that, <laughs> that would be it. So no, Victoria, that dad was like, no, it's like, heck no. I want to get my validation for my birthday, even though he loves the family and, and just loves the fact that you just said it was your, it was your daughter's birthday in February. It's, it's a great way for him to give a, as a validation. Um, and... I've got to take a break, Victoria. I'm going to send you with all that love. And um, listen, you have a great night. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Victoria. Bye-bye. Sandra's watching. What was that? Sandra. Hi, Nancy. Mia, yeah, Tia, oh. Sandra is watching. Hi, Hi. Deb. <laughs> What does that say? It makes sense to me. You are better than... What does that say? Where? Shauna, when you were reading people, sometimes I noticed things make On sense January to me. 10, I think you're better than... You know, uh, 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 Shauna, I love that. I'm not surprised, Shauna, too, when people are listening, that Spirit knows you're listening, and they want to plug something to, to have you say, oh, my God, that connects to me, and that also connects to me, and that's one particular person, like mom or dad. It's just the way it works, so... Hi, this Nancy. Today is my birthday, so a reading would be terrific. Nancy, call. Right? And How are these guys doing? Protecting assets. If you are interested in attending, you can call the Attleboro Council on Aging. This hour goes by so fast. Yeah. Do you have two hours go by fast too? Um, oh yeah. Oh, yeah, it just goes oh, by. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I mean. I go home after doing and this and like <coughs> all of a sudden it's <coughs> next Wednesday. I know. I'm doing it again. I know. You know? Yeah. I don't think so. I that, that's because you just you just want to spend time with us. That's what it is, Mike. I can't believe this was my twenty second job. That's amazing. Yeah. So I can't believe. And I missed three weeks. My pockets are so small, you can't even squeeze your hand. I'm on my twenty second, but I, not the way you count because I only I write down the shows I actually do. I know you're supposed to count everything, right? Like the. I missed three. Oh, I know because when you were out with your foot, so. Okay. But you're back now, so, so which is a great thing. Yeah. I can really make a difference. Your donations to good go on jobs, training programs. <laughs> that you come back in. Hello, Kim. This is the Curtis family saying hi. Donate stuff. Crooks, you can you can actually hear the callers. Well, that's new. Is she? Maybe you got bionic hearing. No, Audrey. Hi. Oh, well, maybe she hears it through your headphones. Maybe. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, Crooks. So, there was one time that you were saying, oh, you can go to the app to listen to it or the website. And I was like, but you can hear it. From the I didn't, I didn't I know. Can. I did not know that. Yeah, she can. Susan, you can. Like, Susan, clearly, like, you can actually hear the people responding? Yeah. Just... I can too, Deb. Wow. Wow, that's good. That's so maybe great. That's, that's so cool. So maybe you're hearing it through my headphones, which is so wild. I, I mean, I love that you guys can hear people. Yeah. I'm just, what happens if I just stay on this and just don't go back on the earphone, the headset? Oh, God. Right? Let's see how long I can go. Oh, you're going to hear the caller. No, no, I'm just going to. You, you do it. You and Mariana. I love that you can hear the calls, though. Right? <laughs> and welcome back to Through the Static. I'm in my own world, I guess. I'm just having a conversation, and the show's back. So let's go to the next call. Hello, this is Steven. Hi. Hi, who's this? This is Eric. Is that what you said? Eric, listen, I love when guys call. I never get guys calling. So, Eric, thank you for calling. This is wonderful. Um, so let me um, uh, let me uh, tune in on where I'm going. Wow, there's a lot here, Eric. Um, Eric, wow, I don't even know where to start with you. 
So, so Eric, there's the, someone just yelled out that there's a recent crossing. Can, can I, when you know, Eric, when when they tell me it's a recent crossing, recent to me is like within a year. Usually, usually a year, fifteen months, but no more than that. So, do do you understand that? What is the crossing? Uh, someone that has passed. Okay, so just just know, um, uh, and where, where's the is this the woman who passed? I'm sorry. Is is the the person who crossed or passed? I use crossed, Eric, because I don't like passed. I don't like dead. Crossed to me is that because we just crossed into a different plane and we're still here with us. Um, but is it a female? So so th well, this is interesting because there's also a female here, um, but she feel she she just said that she's a ma a mother figure, so either mom or grandmother. So is your mom still here? Yes, my mom is still okay, so it's gonna be a grand. Is this your dad that crossed? No, it's your grandfather. Okay, well you know it's it's interesting, Eric. They tell me mom or dad. Um, a figure, so it's either mom or grandmother. That's how it works, because technically grandpa is still a father figure. So just letting you know that he's stepping forward. Um, uh, wh where does the, the, the teaching come in, Eric? Who, who teaches something? Uh, uh, what comes to or so, anybody connected to you? Yes, I have a, I have a godfather. Who's a teacher? Religion. Yes, yes. Wow, so, but he's still here. Okay, so grandfather just gave that as a as a validation um, in just giving a, a, a big thumbs up of, of what he does. And I can, you know, I can just, it's really wild, Eric. I don't know if this has ever happened that I just heard your grandfather just let you know that spirit here is just so proud of what he does in his his teachings because he's very he's very powerful and what he, I don't know. I don't know exactly what he does, but if it's in the spirit realm, they're just giving a big um uh, shout out. So, um, uh, and so you said your dad is here, correct? Yes, yes. Okay. Um, Eric, your, your grandfather, um, we, we, he just keeps bringing me to you. Like, uh, like almost feeling like, like you're, were you very connected to him? Or do you, do you talk to him? Like since he's crossed? Wow, that's wonderful. He says five, five. When I get a number, it's either five kids or the month of May or the fifth of a month. There's something, your, your grandfather keeps p pointing five fingers up. There's something connected to five, the number five. So if it was May, Eric, so it's just giving as a validation when he did cross. If not, then there's something else connected to um, uh, five. Um, you know, he, your, your grandfather also keeps talking about the universe. So I don't know if, if in, in teachings you talk a lot about the universe and what the universe does, but I just keep hearing your grandfather talk about the universe. And also, Aunt, Aunt, it's an A name he keeps giving me. Aunt, Aunt? Okay, is that Ian? Yeah, her name is Alisa. Oh. Okay, so just know, and so is this her? This is her dad? Yeah. Okay, so not not surprising that she he just wants to validate um, his daughter, Mama. So, um, and... Yeah, she worked a lot for her friend. Like, after he passed away, they weren't very close, but after he passed away, she started working with her husband, and she helped him cross and help him Wow. I, I, I love this. I keep seeing a cross near my chest. I don't know what this is. There's, there's a cross. There's a, a cross and it's, it's like right. I don't know if it's like a, a, a necklace hanging on somebody or somebody put a cross near somebody. But there's your, your grandfather keeps talking about the, the or there's a cross on somebody like a tattoo cross. But there's something there's something your grandfather connects. He's, he connects with a cross. Okay, just keep it with. Um, 
But he's making, you know, he's making me feel like the, the, the cross is being used in something, Eric. Like, like someone's holding the cross and, and by withholding it, there's movement with it. Like, I don't know if this is like a, a, a spiritual thing or a prayer or all I can tell you is that he keeps, and he keeps saying, you know, you, you, um, I love your grandfather. He, he also said that you're very, you're very like him. There's a, he just gave me my symbol for um, the blueprint of him is with you. So in what, whatever your, whatever journey or path you're on, your grandfather just said you're on the path. But I don't know what the cross is. But th there's, there's, it, 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 it makes me feel like the cross is in a, the cross is left in a place with somebody or, or differently. I, he he didn't he didn't like when he was when he crossed he wasn't with the cross like nothing you remember with him. Okay, so if if that's what it is, it's very connected to him. So just know it's probably just a way to let you know that he knows about the altar and um, is um, just giving that as a a, a valid. Um, Eric, he also talks about the, the a, a, a plane, a, a plane ride. Does someone just uh, like travel somewhere, or is someone? Yes, my mother and I will be traveling next week. Oh wow! So know that your your grandfather just just gave me the thumbs up, saying he's going to make sure that everything goes well and how he's going to um, uh, uh, protect you guys. And that's really you know what he does. He also just said, "Tell my mom." He just said, "Tell." Tell your mom that he hears her um, praying and talking to him, and he loves it. Yeah, he, he, Eric, he loves it. He loves it so much. He loves hearing her because it makes, he just said, Stephen, it makes me feel like I'm still here. And it also, for, for my daughter, it makes me feel like um, uh, she's still here. There's two kids somewhere. Where's the two kids? No, no, but he tells me, that, does he have two children? No, no, no. He keeps telling me there's two kids, two kids. Somebody connected to you, Eric, or someone in the family. Someone's got two children. I don't know if this is grandkids. Somebody has, he keeps saying two, two, two children, two children. So um, was he from two? Okay. No, this is, he keeps giving me the, the validation of two kids, two kids, two kids. Or, you know what, you know, he just sort of, um, clarify two kids that are are like there's an age gap between the two kids. There's like kids, and then there's an eight. There's a, there's a big age gap, and then there's more kids, or there's one child. That's there's a big age gap somewhere, somehow somewhere in the family. Some some connected that he wants oh, to give. Oh yeah yeah, he had a last child, his Perfect. So know that know that it's just him giving these validations to say it's really me. Stephen wouldn't know that. So it's just a way, Eric, that he's letting you know. Um, I I gotta tell you though that grandpa, your grandfather just said how proud also he is of you and what you're doing, especially how how you you um, uh, interact with your mother, with your with your family. It just he's just very very proud of of the man you've become and um he he your grandfather also just said eric um that in the past i don't know maybe past five years ten years the stuff that you've learned is more than you've learned since you've been here yeah so so no yeah so know that it's a way that he's just giving that as a a validation also probably part of why he keeps saying how, you know, proud he is. And did someone just do something with, with like, thumbprints? Why does he keep showing me his thumb? There's something with a, a, a thumb. Or would, did someone have an issue with their thumb? He just keeps giving me, like, um, I see the thumb and I can see the actual, um, you know, like, if you put put your thumb in ink and then you put it on, on the, the paper, there's, there's something to do with hand prints or thumb prints that you're... I believe it's because that I have one of my, uh, one of my cousins that she's pregnant. And she's probably giving birth to um, I don't know how that connects to the print. The hand print... Well, I don't know. Um, <laughs> I... I, 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 I no, th this is actually something something that's already 
occurred. So there's some kind of print, someone's handprint. Some maybe someone like put it hands in clay or did like a um, like a um, a sketch of hands or a print because he keeps showing me the thumb. So there's something. Just keep it with you, Eric. I am sure that it will come to you. Um, when we're off the air and you think about it or you ask your mom, maybe she's got like little prints of your hands, but there's something connected and it's just, it's a way that he just wants to give that as a, a huge validation, but he wants to, to end this with so much love and that he just said that he was the reason why you got through because, you know, the lines are always tied up, but he said that he, um, he made sure that you got through because you needed to hear from him. Oh, Eric, thank you. Thank you for calling. And I just will leave you and send you with a lot of love, okay? Oh, thank you, Eric. So we're, we're done. I think we're really done, right? So we'll see you next week for Coach Elix. Right, Coach Elix? Yes. Um, StephenTheMedium.com is my website. To Mariana, who's here, say goodbye, Mariana. Bye. I'm so glad to have you with Consuelo, Titieva, and um, we'll see you next week week next, next wednesday, wednesday at five o'clock we'll look forward back. to it have a great week guys bye everyone okay everyone bye, bye.